everyone, it's Lisa here. I'm just going to show you how to create a lovely soft illustration using a combination of my brushes from the Instant Artist Collection. You'll learn how to use the build up texture brushes that are quite unique and I'll take you through the steps on how to create a lovely soft effect. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the color of my background. I'm going to choose kind of like a minty color and then creating an, on a new layer, should I say, I'm going to go ahead and start drawing the stem of my flower. I'm going to co come over to my uh, brush called the Big Fat Pencil. And there it is. And then I'm just going to, with sort of light strokes, draw the main stem. And then the branches coming out from the side. And with a bit more pressure on my brush, or on my pencil should I say, I'm creating the leaves and then just filling in the area. And the nice thing about this brush is the harder you push, the darker or intensifies the, the texture of the brush, which is quite nice for variation. I'm going to actually make this leaf a little bit more to the side. And I'm going to turn the brush size up. I created this brush to kind of cheat creating larger areas much faster and still, you know, retaining a, a pencil look. And then just a smaller leaf over here. That looks completely out of proportion, so I'm just starting again. And then on a new layer, we're going to choose kind of like a pinky color. And again, with a big fat pencil, I'm just going to create a very simple flower shape and then fill in that entire area. And you'll notice we've kind of shortcutted, is that even a word? <laughs> Um, we shortcut the whole process of filling in pencil work. It still looks like a pencil and we didn't spend too much time. So now I'm using a lighter color and bringing my pencil size down and the opacity. That's a little bit too much. I'm just going to add some variation in color to the flower. And I'm just using very loose sort of round uh, strokes. You may not see it all that well on screen, but it just adds that lovely sort of pencil, you know, variation that we see with pencil work. And I think I'm gonna bring that flower down a bit. So I just use my transform tool and because it's on, in, on its own layer, we can move around that flower. And now I'm creating a new layer for the actual center of the flower using a mustard color. I'm going to still use the big fat pencil. And I'm just simply going to draw a very graphic looking, kind of like a, a minimalistic middle of a flower. Something along those lines. Just making sure I'm on the right layer. And then I haven't brought my opacity up, that would explain it. So don't make the mistake I did. Make sure your opacity is 100% again. And I'm just simply making quick little circles with my brush. And we want to bring this down a bit. 
Okay, something like that. I'm just going to, again, using my transform tool, just slightly scale it down a dash and move it into position. Okay, so the next thing we want to focus on now is the, the texture underneath the flower, and then we're going to create a texture above the flower. So let's start with the one underneath and making a layer that's right underneath all the flower layers. I'm coming over to my palette and I'm choosing a darker color to the original mint that we used. And then I'm moving down to my build up brushes. And I'm going to choose a brush called build up soft wiggle. And just playing around with the size just to make sure I'm happy with the size. I'm just literally jabbing out or should I say stamping out the texture as I go. So you'll notice obviously the more we stamp the more the, the texture intensifies. And then I'm bring the opacity down a bit just so that the texture is slightly more subtle and then we're going to add a texture layer above the flower and this time we're going to choose a white color and I'm going to use the brush called Build Up Unleashed. And you'll notice with each of these, you know, with each of the stamp of your pencil, the brush kind of changes direction and it gives it a lovely sort of natural look. I know that looks a bit intense at this point. But we're going to, again, bring the opacity down. And that's a lovely way to control the texture that you're after and I'm going to zoom in to show you what that's done so you'll see over the darker areas of the green there's some lovely grungy texture going on and you can also see it over the the background and then as a final texture layer well actually a second final texture layer on top of the flower I'm just going to add another soft wiggle build up brush texture just here and there and again you'll see it's starting to form a lovely soft feel and again I brought the opacity down just so that you know keep it uh, not as, in, as intense and then as a final top layer I'm going to add some speckles using the build up starry uh, actually I'm going to use a spray build up spray brush Again, I'm just jabbing my pencil here and there and experimenting with the size of the brush. And you'll see speckles are starting to form on the canvas. I think that's looking good. And then as a final touch, I'm going to create a darker color on the outside, uh, on the edges of the artwork, basically outside coming in. It's going to kind of fade from dark to light. So creating a new layer above your original texture layer that's under the flower. I'm going to choose kind of like a dark mustardy color. And then choosing the powder puff brush. I'm just going to make my canvas quite a bit smaller. And you'll see why in a minute. And then I'm just simply going to stamp out all the way around on the edges and as I mentioned the more you stamp over the same area the more it intensifies and we can always adjust that at any stage by just simply deleting and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that so if we wanted to just take away some of that texture we could use a um, for the you know for the eraser we can choose for example soft wiggle I think I'm going to leave it as soft wiggle. So I've just changed my eraser to soft wiggle and then I'm just simply going to delete certain areas. And the reason why we're using soft wiggle as the eraser, it just keeps it sort of, you know, the, the pencil look. It's, it's within in the same sort of look and feel of your illustration. And we can subtly just remove some of the texture we don't want. And then finally, I'm just going to change the opacity and blending mode of that layer. So I'm going to move it up to multiply, 
bring the opacity down a dash until I'm happy with what it looks like. And I think that looks pretty good. And that's it. You've created a lovely soft illustration that has a beautiful sort of pencil artistic look to it without any effort at all. I hope that was helpful. Happy creating.